can't go any further, Regina. Can't see past the front of the car. Well, I bet it's clear on the highway. You know that big road with all the lights and the snow plow. You're the one that said we were running late. I just tried to take a shortcut here to save us some time. Besides, there ain't nothing moving in this. Fine. Let's just turn on the radio. It's a terrible storm, but the road crews have done a great job keeping the highways open. Only an idiot would be caught in a back road in this weather. <laughs> hey, you know, we gotta conserve power here. You know, we're just gonna have to wait this thing out. Mm -hmm. Well, you lucky I brought my cell phone and my AAA card. Unlike some people, Regina Greer is always prepared. Well, uh, Miss Always Prepared, would you happen to have a men's room in your purse? No. Well, then you're gonna have to excuse Big Daddy. I'm gonna go outside and write help in the snow. <laughs> to get those home. They never would have fit my Miata. Yeah, that's okay. You know, that's what friends are for. So, uh, you're gonna forget about that day I called in sick and they caught me on camera at the ball game, right? What day? <laughs> Ooh, we gotta get going. <laughs> I'm gonna go down to the record store and pick up a very white box set and some black love instant. <laughs> Thank you. Hello? Oh, hi, Hamilton. Yes, I got the skis. You are so sweet. <coughs> Don't you worry. Nothing can keep me off of that plane. Oh, Hamilton, stop it. You are such a naughty doctor. <laughs> Blue, the little flowers. <laughs> Not. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't sit down on that couch. I just brushed the suede and I don't want your butt print on it. Nah, I'd stay away from the shrimp. And I counted it. And you ain't gonna like the cheese either, because it ain't government issue. Fine. I'll just sit here on Sadie's half of the couch. It's probably just taking him a little longer on account of the snow. Okay. Well, if my date shows up first, I'm gonna throw an apron on you and call you Florence. <laughs> it's true. A mother will do anything for her unborn egg. I've lied to my parents and broken into school. Maybe Nev Campbell will play me in the TV movie. <laughs> Romeo, breaking into school, this is dumb, even for us. Did you want your dad's cell phone back or not? Yeah. But if we get caught, we'll blame it on the lyrics of today's rap music. Bless you. Bless, Bless you. you. <laughs> <laughs> to a rich ebony doctor who is into sisters. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Regina, I'm snowed in. Hey, look, I'm the principal at an inner city high school. Now, I deal with gangs, graffiti, and bad cafeteria food on a daily basis. Do you think I'm intimidated by a little snow? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Nothing is moving out there, Regina. My romantic weekend is ruined. And to think I rented that motorcycle cop uniform for nothing. <laughs> hey, look, Coco, I'm, I'm really sorry, but it looked like we're gonna have to take a rain check on dinner. Yes, Coco, I know it's snowing. <laughs> it's just a bigger speech, honey. Okay. Terrible. I spent months planning this romantic weekend. I can't believe this. 
I spent a whole day shopping to make a perfect dinner for a woman who I am pretty sure don't even own a bra. And I get blocked by a few measly feet of snow. <sighs> Kevin Costner in this movie. I mean, Kevin Costner as a bodyguard, please. How's it going to protect Whitney? Kevin Costner would get beat down trying to pick up her takeout order at Willie's Rib Shack. <laughs> Quiet. They're about to kiss. Oh, no. What happened to the picture? <sighs> it's my favorite scene. Oh, Virginia, come on. I mean, the movie's just so unrealistic. I mean, here's a woman that has it all. Why would she be into her bodyguard? Because after all they've been through, all of a sudden she just looks at him and she sees that he's her protector and, and she's never felt safer with anyone else in the world. And at that moment, kissing him just seems like the most natural thing in the world. Sorry, I just got caught up in the moment. Damn, this video is stuck. Lavina, how many times have I told you not to put your cheap bootleg tapes in my VCR? Excuse you? I would have you to know that it's top quality merchandise. I bought that out of the trunk of a Lincoln Town Corps. <laughs> Lavina, I don't want to hear about your illegal activities. I got to go down to the school and steal one of them VCRs. <laughs> Sadie, why are you wearing that? Now is not the time to play commando with Naughty Village Girl. Where is the tie-dye shirt and the roster wig I laid out for you? Lovey, I've been giving this a lot of thought. We can't play with this Y2K thing. And we can't leave the apartment. Ever. I've had enough of this Y2K nonsense. It's New Year's Eve and I'm gonna party. I'm catching that reggae boat. The Vita Alize Jenkins, don't you walk out that door, girl? I'm telling you, good. it's gonna be awfully hard trying to repopulate the planet with her in that attitude. Gina, you scared the hell out of me. Can't a man come into a school steal a VCR without somebody sneaking up on him? Shouldn't you be on your date with Thundercloud? It's Rainstorm. I, I mean, Rainer Storm. And I'm going on the date. It's just that I came down here to get, uh, because she had made a request wanting me to get a VCR, because we gonna watch v videos. <laughs> you gonna... You're lying to me. No, what makes you? That's crazy. Uh, because when you lie, you cannot look me in the eye and you speak in broken sentences. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You, I... <laughs> All right. Truth is, she, she canceled on me. That Raina. And I bet she did it at the last minute, too, didn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she had a, kind of had a, she was trying to tell me she made up this whole thing. She dumped me right before your trip fell through. Steve, why did you tell me? You know how bad I felt. Because you dissed me, Regina. You ain't saying, well, if old country Steve can get a date, anybody with a pulse can. <laughs> See, Regina, you don't understand. Just because I'm big and fine. <laughs> don't mean that I ain't got feelings. Steve, listen to me. You are not that fine. And besides, look, a real friend would have called me on it instead of lying to protect his fragile little ego. I guess we're really not friends. Oh, come on now, Piggy. Don't go off on the deep end on me with all that. Look, we 
friends? No, no, Steve. I think we both have different ideas about what friendship is. Because if we were real friends, we would have been there for each other. And now we're both alone. Happy New Year, Steve. I mean, normally by now I would have had to tune you out about an hour ago. Yeah, well, I just got a lot on my mind. You know how that is. So many things to consider. Professional, personal, important decisions, career moves, friendship. Boy, you really know me, don't you? You know, you're right. I do have something to get off my chest. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So what's on your mind? I'm gonna need your half for the gas money. Just pull over. Let me drive. Fine, but I'm still gonna need your half for the gas money. <laughs> a $200 ticket for a crack tail light. Thank you very much, Regina. Maybe you can get your new employer to pay for it. You still ranting about that damn interview? Yes, I am, and I am exhausted. I cannot believe this is the last crummy room they had. Look, I'm going to bed. You can have that chair over there. Have a chair? Wait, oh, 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 oh. Look at me. I'm a 40-year-old man with a bad back. I would arm wrestle Rosa Parks for that bait. All right. Let's flip for it. Fine. Call it in the air. Heads. Oh, look, tails. You lose. Fine. You know what? Steve, I don't even want to be in the same room with you. Look, Regina. It's a blizzard outside, OK? We can share the bed. Well, I guess. But no funny stuff, like groping me and then talking about you had a nightmare. All right, I promise. Won't even sleep in the nude like I usually do. Thank you. I'm wearing my socks and my medallion. Hey, Regina, look, I uh, <laughs> bought your piece off. Steve, we don't have anything to say to each other. Uh -huh, but wait now. I have something to say to you. I refused to enter into the new millennium with my oldest and dearest friend mad at me. Well, I don't want to be mad at you either. And besides, I don't have any champagne. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> what you doing here? I just knew you and Sarah was going to be somewhere on that roster boat licking jerk chicken sauce off each other. <laughs> that is so romantic. I miss my daddy. I don't want to bring in the new year without him. Oh! Why <laughs> well, a lot of fun for 95 <laughs> Levita, it's almost 12. Cedric's never going to make it. Well, I have to try. I love him. He's not answering. He ain't even home, oh, trifling dog. <laughs> now who? I've been searching all over for you. I'm sorry. Now I'm sitting there waiting for the world to end, trying to decide on what insect to eat for protein. <laughs> when I realize if I wasn't with my Levita, my world has already ended. Oh, Sadie, mm. you're my world too. <laughs> well, I'm glad everything worked out for you, Edie Amin and Rita Marley. <laughs> but I'm telling you, if we don't get to it, we're going to miss the millennium. Oh, they're getting ready to start the countdown. Oh. We need champagne glasses, too. Oh, don't worry, lovey. Mm -hmm. That's my wife, too, okay, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Happy, Happy New Year! Year! <laughs> what happened to the lights? Why, 2 k See, I told y'all. Well, we might as well make the best of it. Happy New Year, Sadie. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Piggy, what a kiss, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you had it in you. 